So ladies and gentlemen, we now bring to you a meaningful narrative and it is time for me to invite our next dignitary in the spotlight. We're talking about somebody with an impressive 30 years journey in building and construction sector. Somebody who's redefined industry norms. He has identified critical pain points in the construction sector and delved into extensive R&D, which culminated in a tailored solution for building care through Xylo Pains Private Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about none other than the director Xylo Pains, Mr. Kanan Krishnamurti. Let's give him a warm round of applause and welcome him to the stage right now. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I thank Reality Plus for having given me an opportunity to address such a fantastic August audience here. Uh, we have been listening about the green initiative by the panelists, and uh, our foundation is based on green only. We need to give a the world a color which is sustainable and eco-friendly. Uh, we have seen some of the biggest uh, mommies and daddies. I say so because the panelists had more mommies than daddies. <laughs> uh, to support our initiative to convert the concept which we are bringing in into a convention. It has been a tremendous effort uh, put in by my team in the last 13 years to bring in a concept which was really unheard of. We are developing an entire ecosystem from manufacturing, distribution, up to the execution element of it to ensure that the product what we develop is sustainable, user-friendly, and most importantly, eco-friendly. Uh, I would request uh, the AV team to put on the AV to just give you a brief about the concept which we are trying to bring in into this industry. Thank you. Zago Paints has been at the forefront of manufacturing and distributing a wide range of paints for various surface coatings that are designed to meet the technical specifications and the expected quality of our valued clientele. What we believe in. First time, right. Ensures efficiency quality, maximizing customer satisfaction. Part of the solution. We collaborate to address challenges and contribute to positive outcomes. Honest selling earns trust, fostering lasting customer loyalty and a positive brand image. Healthy competition encourages innovation, drives improvement among competitors. Challenges faced by the construction industry. Addressing them is our top priority. Cracks. Cracks occur because of thermal expansion and contraction. The material used to bond contracts when the temperature is low but does not have a mechanism to expand when the temperature goes up. Cracks are mainly found in AAC block work, precast panel joints, RCC panels, plastered walls, drywall boards, and panels. Weak plaster. Signs of weak plaster may include flaking, cracking, or a powdery texture. In severe cases, the plaster may start to crumble or fall away from the underlying surface. Weak plaster not only looks unsightly, but can also compromise the stability of the wall or ceiling. Undulations. It happens primarily because of uneven shrinkage of material, which looks ugly after painting. Leakages. Leakages happen from terraced floor joints and cracks on the facade. Fungus algae formation. Ingress of water through the cracks leads to fungus and algae formation. Pinholes on RCC surface. These refer to tiny, often barely visible, holes or voids that occur on the surface of the concrete. 
These pinholes can vary in size, from small dots to slightly larger openings. Rusting on MS surfaces, the steel rebars, also known as corrosion, is a natural chemical process that occurs when iron or steel comes into contact with moisture and oxygen, pasting of AAC block, and plastering. This is a construction process involving the application of AAC, blocks, and a plaster layer to create walls or partitions in a building. Tile pasting on RCC, proper surface preparation, selection of appropriate adhesives and grouts, and precise installation techniques are crucial for a successful tile installation on RCC. Unstable grouting material. Using well-prepared grouting material is crucial for the success and longevity of construction projects. It ensures that the grout performs its intended function, whether it's filling gaps, These are the challenges which we are facing in the construction industry, wherein the finishing is the most important element. Whatever goes underneath is not seen. Whatever is seen outside construes uh, the quality of the construction. How many of you could uh, actually understand or comprehend these uh, problems and are looking forward to a solution Okay, all of you are keeping your hands down. It means probably you understand that these are the problems and you need a solution for it. We have been going around uh, all this while uh, by resigning to the fact that these, facts are, these problems are bound to remain and let us learn to live with it. Now, here we are bringing in certain concepts to ensure that we get the first time right product and a perfect product, which will save on the uh, uh, environmental front as well and uh, more of user-friendly material. Can you just move it forward, please? Supporting loads or stabilizing structures. Analysis plays a pivotal role in the development of silo paints. Thorough analysis drives constant innovations and improvement. Analysis is crucial to the development of silo paints. It guides our product refinement process, ensuring that each paint meets rigorous quality and performance standards. From pigment selection to application methods, every aspect is thoroughly evaluated. This commitment to precision enables us to deliver durable, high-quality paints that inspire creativity. At Silo, we provide both preventive and corrective measures through comprehensive analysis and identifying causes, effects, challenges, and offering effective solutions. The causes could be cement, sand, water, curing, temperature, the possible effects, cracks, debonding, water ingress, chloride formation, rusting of steel. Challenges could be mechanical, weak surface, waste disposal, NGT, financial, Solutions we provide, elastomeric, hydrophobic, indentation resistant, excellent adhesion, homogeneous film formation. Xylo manufactures all kinds of architectural and wood coatings. Our range of innovative specialist and leak proof series can address most of the challenges successfully. Proud to be a part of Indian. Thank you so much for listening patiently to this. And I look forward to some uh, interesting kind of, you know, question answer session down the line after an initial uh, pointers from the MC here. Thank you. With uh, that, uh, Mr. Kanan, uh, we'd of course uh, request you to stay back and uh, may I now invite uh, Sapna Srivastava to kindly join us. Can we have the team to kindly put uh, the two chairs, please? 
And uh, meanwhile, as we have the opportunity, of course, of uh, having uh, such a legendary figure, we're talking about, you know, 30 plus years, so you bring so much of uh, panache to this industry, you bring a lot of exemplary leadership, so we'd like to highly uh, thank you for that. And of course, leading it forward with uh, Xylo Paints, let's give him a big, big round of applause for contributing so, uh, so immensely uh, on that front. And of course, uh, we couldn't have had anyone better than Sapna curating this uh, discussion. Sapna, of course, uh, uh, leading the editorial uh, space. Uh, so Sapna, if you could, yes, she's right there. And of course, also she's endorsing the green theme as, as well. So let's, let's have a green conversation ahead, Sapna. Yes, uh, because we are doing Harit Bharat, so why not also be dressed Harit? So, uh, uh, in fact, our team is all in different shades of green. Uh, nothing to do with 50 shades of gray, but the theme of our event. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Mr. Kanan, uh, during our first conversation, I addressed you with doctor, and then you corrected me. Uh, but after our subsequent conversations and discussions, I think I stand by what I you know, the, uh, the prefix that I gave you, um, you are... I prefer to be called as a pain doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Removing so all the pains from the paint. <laughs> yeah, so as a doctor diagnoses the patient, finds the symptoms, and then gives the right treatment. So if I were to ask you, how do we diagnose this problem? You know, because that's the first step. How do we recognize we have... Uh, the cracks problem, what are the symptoms that we should look for? How do we go about it? Uh, as I said earlier, we have resigned to certain facts, what have we have experienced all this while. Cracks are a necessity. But then we have to circumvent to ensure that uh, the plastering cracks, what happens, can be controlled. See, cracks, when it happens, what happens is the water ingress happens, water stagnation, which leads to fungus and algae formation, deterioration of uh, the steel inside, and debonding of plaster, the most important element. If the plaster doesn't remain there, the building, uh, it's bound to fall off. So we are bringing in a technology to ensure that we give you a preventive measure. The cracks are bound to happen. If we have a preventive measure in place, we will ensure that the longevity of the plaster enhances. And most importantly, we have been living with cracks for a long time. Now we can uh, present a corrective measure as the same solution for it and ensure that we secure our building at least for the next 25 years from the plaster angle per se. Uh, oh, I would like to add one more thing. There are new technologies which are all coming up. All these technologies are essentially required by the world today. Uh, as we have been talking about Harit Bharat and all, we have uh, monolithic construction wherein we save a lot of uh, uh, you know, plastering effort which consumes a lot of river sand and water. Uh, all these uh, uh, technologies are good enough but they also come up with certain challenges like cracks again. Cracks is imminent everywhere. So we can give uh, a definite solution, a comprehensive solution, a first time right solution. As you uh, said, pain, uh, these cracks are bound to happen. We have to live with that. But when are they considered dangerous? When should we be cautious about these cracks? See, if we allow the water ingress to happen, it is going to become dangerous only. Water can dissolve anything and everything in the world today. So it, we have to be careful with that, ensure that the water ingress is stopped. How do we stop that? You know, we have to have a film on top which can ensure that it is elastomeric in nature. What do you mean by elastomeric? Which can expand and contract to climatic condition. And it makes a homogeneous film so that the building can expand and contract due to uh, thermal fluctuations and ensure that we do not have cracks in the building. 
So let us let us uh, not wait for the cracks to happen. If at all it has to happen, we have the solution for it, uh, ensuring that the NGT does not object to it, and we give a definite positive solution to it. You mentioned about elastomeric uh, film that you know that can help with the cracks, but many a times we get a lot of uh, you know queries and a lot of uh, this thing that my building quality of construction is not good. There's been cracks. We have done the treatment, what you mentioned. Still, the cracks are there. There is a recurrence of cracks. What are the reasons how that can be fixed? See, uh, uh, going uh, deep into it, all paints are elastomeric by chemistry. Uh, the only difference between an elastomeric paint and an elastomeric plaster is that Elastomeric plaster, we can apply as thick as 25 to 30 mm as well. Whereas a conventional paint cannot be applied beyond a thickness of 50 to 55 microns. So what happens is the substrate is not elastomeric. It impacts, it puts pressure on the top straight, which is just 55 microns. It is not able to sustain the impact of the 1500 to 2000 micron thickness of the putty or whatever we have on the substrate. That is why the cracks happen. So we need to have the substrate which is elastomeric, which can expand and contract to climatic fluctuations, which is hydrophobic, which is impact resistant, which is abrasion resistant. All these put together we have a product which can ensure that the cracks do not get developed at all. So, so that's one correction that you mentioned. It's not just the pain. It's the substrate that has to be fixed. The substrate has to be good enough. Yeah. It should not crack. Okay. So uh, in a conventional system, we normally do a plaster of 19 mm or 25 mm max on the exteriors. Uh, but on top of it, we can apply a putty of approximately 1500 to 2000 microns, 1.5 to 2 mm, and ensure that the cracks on the substrate uh, on the plaster does not impact the top straight, which is our elastomeric plaster. So I would, uh, uh, you know, going technically more into it, what happens is, uh, the uh, plaster has got intragranular spaces. It has got enough space to expand and contract. But then what happens is there is no mechanism for it to, you know, once it contracts, then the temperature comes down. It doesn't have a mechanism to expand when the temperature goes up. So what uh, this uh, elastomeric plaster does is it uh, takes the space between the intragranular spaces and acts as a cushioning effect for the cracks not to protrude outside. So the, the putty, what we are manufacturing, will ensure that the uh, expansion contraction continues to happen, and the intragranular spaces are filled with these shock absorbers. What about drywall? Because a lot of constructions now are happening with drywall. Uh, so. The treatment for plaster that you mentioned and for drywall, do they vary? How do we fix if we have cracks in the drywall? Very interesting question. Uh, drywall, again, I consider this as a future of the building industry. Uh, recently, I read an article uh, saying that earth has become heavier than what it was originally. We are putting too much of pressure on our mother earth. And we need to have uh, construction material which are lightweight, sustainable. Uh, drywall is one form of construction wherein we are using cement board, calcium silicate board, etc. The cracks happen because of, again, thermal expansion contraction. What happens is uh, between the boards, there is a pull push pressure happen, happening because of the uh, thermal fluctuations. Now, uh, if we observe, if we observe, like you know, if there is a crack, uh, if a joint of around six to eight mm or uh, four to five mm, the crack is only in microns. What is happening is the addition properties of the uh, gap filling material 
is not good enough. Now, our material, what it does, it, it holds both ends of the wall. When the temperature comes down, it contracts, does not leave either of the wall. And when the temperature goes up, it expands and does not leave either of the walls. When it does not leave either of the walls, we will not be able to see the cracks happening there. So that is the primary reason for cracks happening, whether it is a drywall like cement uh, uh, board, or it is cement panel, or it is precast structures. In all these areas, the cracks happen primarily because of, again, thermal expansion contraction, and the uh, filler material is does not have that elastomeric properties to expand and contract, and does not have the uh, uh, adhesion properties to hold on to both ends of the wall. We just saw the AV with you know the, the products that were mentioned there and their applications. So how do Xylo products are different from others that are available in terms of technology, in terms of quality? Uh, we are bringing in some uh, you know, very key concepts which are alien to the painting industry. You know, for example, if I tell you, uh, you don't have to sand the surface how many of you will agree to it? Nobody is agreeing to it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is a concept which you are trying to bring in. See, what happens is this has got a green concept behind this uh, uh, thought process. Uh, we are different in terms of understanding the subject very, very well before offering a solution you know, what is expected out of a doctor. He has to understand the patient well. So I being named as Dr. Painter. So I would like to uh, analyze the reason for the same and offer a solution which is uh, really working. And uh, we are different, like you now we have introduced certain technologies called, uh, you know, film formation technology, elastomeric properties, indentation resistant properties, you know, shock absorber properties, and uh, no primer required in our uh, painting process, uh, no uh, sanding required, and one more shocker for all of you, you can paint your house without a brush. Keep wondering, and we will uh, socialize uh, after the session to explain you this product. I'm sure many would like to know how to paint without the brush. So, uh, but if we are saying that no sanding is required, no primer is required, which means we are using less material, we are not creating pollution when you know you start sanding. Are you saying uh, these paints? Uh, we are talking about Harit Bharat. We are talking about sustainability. We just spoke about pollution. How construction sector is one of the biggest contributor to pollution. Are you saying these kind of paints are also contributing to making our earth greener? A very significant contribution is being done uh, towards sustainable environment. One is, you know, sanding is an effort, is an useless effort for me. You know, if you had to sand, why did you load it on the wall first? You know, that is a question we ask. So uh, in our case, we say that apart from this, sanding causes dust and many people are allergic to dust and the person who is actually working at the site is harmed the most so let us care for those people as well and when we create a dust around that area we start cleaning it we are not cleaning it we are only dispersing the dust into back into the environment and polluting it further so we are making an effort to make it a really a Harit Bharat and more so a Harit world today uh, in, in, a, in a very smaller way as far as the painting process is concerned. Apart from this, you know, we have got a product uh, uh, which can be used uh, on AAC blocks to ensure that we do not cure the surface for it to uh, adhere to the substrate completely. We do not use reverse sand in that. All these things are actually contributing directly towards it. And, and, and zero, you know, there are certain uh, elements which uh, we do not take into costing when we are actually doing a job. Now, if, uh, uh, as uh, Sapna Madam has rightly pointed out, you know, uh, we use less material. 
Now, if I have to use more material, what I'm going to do, I'm going to transport the material, burn fossil fuel, and pollute the environment. That is, that is a very, very small effort. And uh, like if I have to uh, you know, uh, cure the surface with uh, water, I'm going to transport the water. Either I'm going to purify it in some format uh, and then wasting on the fossil fuel. So we, we are ensuring that every minute element is taken care of before we actually offer the product to the clients. So we are actually working towards a green uh, world. We don't have a planet B as uh, the earlier moderator had said. That's right. I think uh, small steps from each one of us is uh, uh, contribute to probably making a larger difference uh, in the overall scheme of things. So these were my questions that I had in mind uh, when I saw this AV and I put up to Mr. Kanan. We will open the stage for audience questions, if any. Yes, uh, if you can pass the mic. Uh, there is a uh, questioner also said there for FAQs. Uh, if you can identify with those, you may ask that. RL Birla, consultant for the energy and power. I just wanted to know that you have got all the qualities which you have enumerated at the moment. But we would like to know as to whether your paint is rated with respect to other people who are, who are the other manufacturers. So that we are, as a user, you can at least judge whether what is really the rating of your paint. Otherwise, you know, you as a marketing personnel, you will always try to point out your qualities, whatever is there. But as a customer, I am not able to understand as to how are you better than others unless we have a comparison either by the industry or by the paint industry or by the general industry. It is very difficult to recognize. Do we have some kind of a comparison with the other, uh, you know, by a third party? Uh. We have got uh, certain tests done. As I said, it's an innovation. Uh, incidentally, uh, we, are, uh, we have no competition today. And at the same time, I'm looking forward to uh, good competition now. Uh, see, before that, uh, you have very rightly pointed, why should you believe me what I'm saying? Uh, I would say that you don't have to believe me what I'm saying. I can prove it on the table, not that I will say that uh, wait for five years, six years, and all. I don't have to say that. There is, we have set a, you know, uh, a, a panel on, on the table. Uh, Nitish, can you just hand over the panel to the gentleman? Yes. This is a panel which has been made on a piece of paper. Now, when I say, uh, 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 when I said all the properties, a product is elastomeric, how do you prove that? One is you flex it on both sides. It will not crack. It sh shows that it is elastomeric. Number two, I said this, has, this, this should have an excellent addition properties. No other putty or a plaster in the world can adhere onto a piece of paper. You may tear it off and see it has been applied on a piece of paper. The third is uh, hydrophobic properties. If you pour water on it and wash your, uh, you know, wash the surface, nothing will come out of the surface, which has been proven. Uh, and the fourth property, which you can see, is if you uh, move your hand over the panel, it is very smooth. I have got this smoothness without sanding, which is basically a film formation technology. And uh, when I say it is uh, does not absorb water. It means that uh, we don't have to apply primer. Yes, sir. Uh, I have heard all your answers, but still I am not able to understand as to why should I buy your paint or why whether it is rated with respect to the other paint. Unless I got a comparison because I am not the expert and what you are saying is applying on a single piece right now, which is going to be staying with me only for maybe a today or maybe a week or a maybe a month. What I'm looking as a consultant is uh, the reliability of this product for a year or at least five years. How do you prove that? That is not coming out from your answer. Sorry to say that. Thank you. Uh, the, it is only the competition when it comes, I'll be able to actually uh, prove the point. In the meanwhile, I can. what I can say is the panel, similar panel, if you can try and make it with any other possible alternatives available uh, which you can comprehend, 
uh, it can stand establish my uh, stand uh, on this. So it will take a while. I have been a good uh, sampler for the last uh, almost 12 years now. And uh, now people are, uh, you know, willing to uh, accept this product. And uh, uh, they have been asking such questions to me for a long time now. So uh, I have got a good client list uh, uh, from Godrej, Adani, LNT, uh, Tata's, who have found uh, this as a solution after making me apply a sample for the last almost 12 years now. Uh, I think the takeaway from this discussion and uh, the question that we had from our uh, audience is that probably we can have a, a comparison chart with other uh, paints as uh, uh, you know uh, the gentleman suggested from a third party and we can have the comparison where xylo paint stands and what contributions they can make which is different from other uh, this thing so i think on that takeaway um, let's uh, uh, mr kanan is here to uh, answer all your questions offline let me hand it back to the uh, bhavna now for the rest of the proceedings of the day but in the meantime thanks mr kanan for sharing your perspective how things can be done better and how your product is making a difference. Probably it is an innovation, as you rightly said, this is something which is being done first time and not many comparable products or materials are there in the market as of now. And we hope we have uh, more such products coming in which can, as you said, make uh, you know, construction more sustainable, more healthy for the people who are working on that. So on that note, thank you so much for being here with us and sharing your knowledge. Thank you so much. Knowledge. Thank you. Yeah. I look thank forward you. for your support yeah. to making this concept into a convention. Thank you. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. So with that, uh, if we may request uh, the both of you to just firstly, do we have the photographer though? Where's my photographer? OK, already out. Can the team, the lovely lady in the black, <laughs> take a photo of both of them? Yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, a big, big round of applause. What a fabulous 